So it is officially day six of hashtag a yearathon. Um, Rick Riordan readathon. I'm not doing Rick Riordan, as you know from my announcement video. I did the Taiwanese story Half Prince by Yu Wo. Um, Half Prince is from Taiwan, not China, like I thought. It's written in Chinese, okay, guys? I did not know it was from Taiwan until I got into the series. It's Half Prince is a story that follows the character. This is her actual name. Fang Long. Yeah, it's on the screen. She um, has a fight with her twin brother about the fact that she uses her female wiles in order to advance in her gaming without actually playing the game the way that a guy would and the way that lots of people, including girls, do. And she was like, that's not true. It was true. A new game called Second Life was coming out, so she decided to play as a boy, and it followed how she became a legendary hero. Ha Prince. S several things. This is actually mostly a book review, not really an update. I finished it. I read all the way to the end of the final book, which is book eight, um, Eternal Legend. I read the epilogue. Now, let's just talk about how this book was written, y'all. This, kind of, this is going to be spoilerific. I don't know how to separate it without spoilers. So, I don't remember much about book one, except that it's not written well. This is true for every single word of this book. What this is, is a bunch of fans who liked Half Prince the Manwa that was taken and posted in English online by fans of the original Chinese Manwa. That's the comic, guys. Like a, like a manga. This is a manga because it's from Japan. When it's not from Japan, it's if it's from Korea and apparently Taiwan, it's called a Manwa. I don't own any Manwa. Sorry, I only got manga. Um, manwa is read this way, the way a normal book is. In case you don't can't tell, this opens backwards. Um, manwa don't do that. So, the Manwa was released. A bunch of fans found out it was this book series. They contacted Yuwo, the author. They asked... I'm putting the book back, sorry. They asked Yuwo, like, is it going to come out in English? And she said no. So they worked with her and her agency and company and blah, 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 and they got the rights to post it online as a translation, a direct translation to English. That's what it is. It is not a book. It is not... It has not been edited beyond, is this identical to the original, and does it actually make sense in English? So, it doesn't actually work as a book. It's not, this has been edited. This is um, a Japanese story, Twelve Kingdoms, Sea of Shadow, by Fuyumi Ono. This has been translated to English. This has been edited by Tokyo Pop, who published this. This has been edited heavily. Um, that's not true for <laughs> these scan these online pages. They're it's very, very bad sometimes. I wrote this tweet, in case you don't follow my Twitter, I was tweeting about this a lot. And I, there were certain times where I could look be the majority of the time I looked beyond it, but there were times where the editor and beta in me, I'm a beta to LA Knight, I've edited her books that are on my shelf, you should see something, I have her stuff linked down below. Um... And the editor in me died. <laughs> it was so bad. It was just so bad. Um, so if you even look beyond that, the story is solid. It's a good story. It's not very deep. It's kind of frivolous as it goes along until you get to towards the end of number of book five and the beginning of book six, the NPC review revolt at that point it gets pretty serious it starts to bring out some really deep things to make you think about what makes us human if there were an artificial intelligence that can think like a human is it human is it not another thing is who deserves the death penalty what makes you have the right to kill another person and to take their life and that continues books Five towards the end, book six definitely, and book seven and eight all talk about that in detail. Then you get to the last chapter, Eternal Legend. There's only seven chapters per book. Um, these chapters can range from being 
five pages when I printed it out in order to read hard copy while I was going places and and out shopping with my mom and in the car and stuff so I could keep reading and keep on top. To 15 pages. So they could go from, you know, that's about two, 3,000 words per chapter to about almost 10,000 words per chapter. Those are pretty darn big chapters. And this definitely read to me like a young adult slash middle grade book. It had the tone of middle grade towards the beginning and definitely moved into young adult. And definitely became more sexual and stuff. Um, it, de it brought a lot of things about gender, con conceptions of gender... It brought out a lot of things, even, I admit, about um, gay marriage and, you know, how you feel about that. I'm not talking about that. This is not a political debate. Um, but I can assure you that when you read the epilogue, that all flies out the window. The deepness that was in a lot of the plots of this book, if they're not dealt with by the end of that chapter, are not going to be dealt with. They, it's just, it's so bad. It's, it was painful to read. I literally stopped and I was just kind of like, ugh, reading it because it's just so bad. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Wizards. Okay, if you've re seen the movie Wizards, that fantasy, it's considered a fantasy epic. Wizards, it's like, Wizards talks about, like, the environment and how we need to take care of our world. Sorry, I'm messing with lighting. Sorry. But we have to take care of our world and stuff. I'm all, I don't mind being green. I like going a little bit green. I like my paper and books, obviously. But I don't mind being green in a lot of respects, and I like, you know, you can recycle books. I'm very pro-recycling and stuff. But wizards, once a friend of mine p pinned me to the ground, forcing me to drink a drink I didn't like and I didn't want to drink by slamming me to the ground and trying to force it down my throat. Wizards was like that. With very bad animation, a confusing storyline, and very, very weird dialogue, vision, artwork, and everything else. It's just very bad. It's very, very bad. Um, a L.A. Knight it was a, was like, I like this. And I'm like, oh, and I looked into it, and it's considered an epic by some. Um, and I try to watch it, and that's what I felt like it was doing to me. And that's exactly what Half Prince does in the epilogue. A lot of those deeper subjects, it does that in a comedic, odd, 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 odd way. It's so weird. It is so weird, and it's badly done. The plot doesn't make sense. There are there are certain lines that I felt like I had someone just randomly hit me in the face with a fish. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. It's just like, what? Wh no, how did that happen? What did that happen, and why? And it was just like, what? It was so weird. I just, I had to, I had to rant about it. It's just, no, no. I was already in love with Half Prince. I don't know if you, uh, you also saw my other tweet. I had read the entire series except for three chapters, counting the epilogue in the manhwa already. I think that this is a four or a five. It was kind of on the border. Is this going to be a four star or a five star? And when I finished the book, the final chapter was a little gory. I'm not a big gore fan. I don't like gore. I felt a tiny bit nauseous. And then I was confronted with the mess of the epilogue and the randomness. And then I was just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I was like, not reading sequel. I'm not reading the ninth book, which is sequel, which is a companion novel. It's like Desert Tales to the quintet of the Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr. Um, that is not a sixth book. That is a, another book companion to it. It's not even like the Twilight series with the short Second Life Brie Tanner. That's exactly what sequel's like. And sequel deals with the epilogue. I don't want to read more of that mess. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want to read more of it. I had my fill. It's just a lot of the deepness and the maturity that should have come to Prince with this situation 
and it being 10 years later has not happened prince is no different than she was at the beginning which i'm like so characterization failed the plot is just weird um the deep the deep things that really really made me go from this is kind of like you know a three star 3.5 star to wow this could be a five star if it's done right it wasn't done right <laughs> it wasn't done right because the the epilogue needed to be more for this to be a finale it needed to be a good epilogue and it's the worst epilogue i've ever read it's just blah blah you ew i don't i didn't want that drink shoved down my mouth yes i didn't drink any of that um some of it got all over me on my shirt all on my neck and my mouth and whatever got in my mouth i spat out that's what happened with the drink and that's what epilogue did to me and i was just like i don't want to read anything else written by uo i don't know if she'll do that in her other series but i'm taking a break from miss uo i don't know if i'm gonna pick her up again i may eventually but yeah <laughs> excuse me so yeah that's my thoughts of it i have to rate it you know if i just ignore epilogue it's definitely a 4.5 star and, you know, considering how bad epilogue is, I'm like, you know what, it's a 4.5 star. It's a 4 or a 4.5 star, honestly. Um, I definitely cannot recommend this book to any book lover because it's not going to read like this. It's not going to read like Harry Potter. It's not going to read like any book you've ever read because it's not a book. It's a translation of a book in a different language. And a lot of people talk about how difficult that can be. Um, I've seen other people from like Sweden or f that they'd much rather learn English and read the English book than read it in their native language just because it's so bad. Um, that's not true with 12 Kingdoms. That's not true with Scrap Princess. That's not true with the Full Monarch Miss Novelizations. And those are the ones that I've read. I even picked up, I picked up a couple others that were originally written in Japanese. Um, and I started to read them, and I they just didn't speak to me in the anime that they were based after I didn't like, or whatever. Um, but, you know, Tokyo Pop did it well, but this is a fan one, so of course it's not going to be good. You have to be a fan of the manhwa, the comic, Half Prince. Read that, fall in love with it, then you can read the book. And if you are a Half Prince fan, I want you to try to read this, because I want to see what other people think about it about the epilogue am i the only one who thought it was a train wreck am i the only one who thought that i don't know um but yeah so it's a 4.5 four stars yeah maybe three three point three point eight okay that's that's kind of dragging it out all right uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up to all of y'all who are still doing half sh um, hashtag a year -a Rick Riordan readathon. Keep going at it. I've read a lot of all of his works that I want to. I am a fan. I'm not a fan of of Lightning Thief. I don't know why I turned around. I don't own Lightning Thief in my room. It's in my my dad owns it. It's in the computer room. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of Lightning Thief, but I am a Rick Riordan fan. He won me over. Uo just did the opposite. <laughs> yeah, kind of the opposite there. But I'm going to pick up something else. I don't know what I'm going to read now. I'm going to have to think about it. I'll announce it on Twitter. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more of these random rants without me wearing makeup. I am sorry. It's after 1 in the morning. I need to get in the shower and go to bed. All right, thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye!